All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. We are live after 5 a.m., and we are ready to rock and roll here on this Wikipedia app. There is a problem with our app. Does anyone know what the problem is? Tanya wanted us to say, look up cats. And when we enter in the words, or we say the words into the device, it should look up cats. The problem is that it will look up, look up also. Are you with me? So it's like it's like if I went to Google right now and I said, so my voice is off, but if I would say, look up cats. Then inside of here, it's going to do this. Look up cats. Are you with me? And now that's interesting because now that just looked up cats looking up. <laughs> Are you with me here? So do you guys see the problem? All right, so we have to address this problem today. Another thing I want to do is I want to do the accelerometer today to get it to go back to the home screen. Someone had a great idea yesterday. One of my students said, hey, um, let's go back here. One of my students said, hey, when we go to home, it should clear the screen. Right? It should clear what has been typed in there. Yeah. Do you guys agree with that? So... You guys really have to think about, and this is where we call micro thinking, you have to problem decomposition, right? Break it down into small parts. Even like your clear button, or going home, or going back, you want to clear, um, you know, the, the search bar. You don't want a cats to stay in there. Because then people are going to get annoyed when they have to go back Highlight cats, hit delete. Okay, you with me? Those are all extra processes that you and I could control very simple, simply by just doing a little bit of code. So today we're just going to upgrade this app. It's not going to take us very long at all. It's going to be a couple. So like here, when we go home or we go forward or we go back, um, so when we go to home, let's clear the text box. So we're going to go to text box. dot text is equal to a whole lot of nothing. Are you with me there? <laughs> so it's equal to quote quote. Was that hard to do? No. So uh, I guess we wanted to do the accelerometer, right? All right, so here I go. I'm going to make a procedure again. So, if you guys are not familiar with procedures yet, okay, I'm going to do another procedure. And I'm going to call this um, Go Home Go to Home Page. Okay. Go to Home Page. This is my Go to Home Page method. So I wrote a method right here. You guys see that? I'm going to take everything inside of here and drag it over there. Was that hard? I'm going to go to my procedures, and there it is. Go to my home. So now, because um, we're getting ready to do the accelerometer, okay, when we shake it. Somebody told me that when they shake it, they want it to go to the home page. So what are we going to do? Go to my procedures. And now when you shake the app, it's also going to go to the home page and clear the text bar. Who understands what I just did? Was that hard? No. What, what's the cool thing about procedures? Yeah, they're cool. They are cool. I could have, like, duplicated everything here and then, like, taken everything out and put it over in here. Are you with me? You guys with me on that? Yes. But why why copy and paste these big huge blocks and have these big huge blocks sitting around everywhere? When this kind of makes your 
code clean and concise and not repetitive you know what i mean you're not doing a lot of work it's like it's like putting a cell phone it's like when you add a contact to your phone list are you with me you do it one time and then you can say hey call call my mom the, so she types out phone numbers every time she wants to make a call that would be a nightmare are you with me all right so now I want to come down here and focus on this speech recognizer okay you with me because we want to say look up and when or we want to say search for um, and then I want to be able to say something after it I just want to be able to say look up cats and then Siri knows to go look up cats not look up cats that are looking up are you with me or if I would say search for cats I want it to go search the internet for cats not cat searching <laughs> are you with me we have to take out those words who's understanding what I'm saying okay so if you guys need a visual for this let me go and open up my notepad okay and I will I will do quick notes here Nora what's your question Yeah, you can do that. You can, and that we have it doing that, right? You can type cats into the search bar, uh, but you have to type in cats into the search bar, right? And then you say look up, and then it looks up cats. We have it doing that. That's not what I'm talking about here today. What I'm talking about here today is essentially making your app hands-free. Just like when I say, hey, Siri right and then Siri comes on and like I could send a text message hands-free are you with me um, so today we're really talking about and I think that's what Tanya wanted Tanya wanted to say look up cats and it would start doing a hands-free look up cats so you guys are gonna have to watch this today this is gonna be complex short and sweet but complex so I got to show you some complex things here okay where is this? Where's my notebook at? It did? Yep. Yeah. All right, great. Here we go. Tools. Okay. So let's go get a pen here. I'm going to do some writing so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Okay, stop thinking. Anytime soon, you can stop thinking. Who's following me here today on this, what we're trying to do? Hands free, look up. I don't want to look up. Look up. You with me? I don't want lookup to go into the search bar. I just want cats to go in the search bar. You guys with me on this? You can't take for granted that it's going to automatically do everything for you. Remember, you're, you're programming the dumbest thing in the world called a computer. It is. It's going to do exactly what you tell it to do. So if I'm saying lookup cats, what's that? That's right, and it's going to do exactly what I tell it to do. So that's why we have to be smart, Nora. Okay, yes, you guys need to blog. You need to blog on every assignment. So when, so we're going to go into voice, right? What is it doing? Yes. So, we're going to go into voice recognition, right? Okay. And when they say, look up. Cats. When they say, look up cats. 
we do not want all of this to go into the search bar. Are you with me? Because when I say look up cats, it's going to all go into the result of the voice recognition. We have to get rid of this, right? And by the way, when you analyze this, folks, there is, what is right after up here? Space. There is a space, right? Okay, so we need to get rid of that space also. Are you with me? And there's something I can show you inside of programming that will, you can take strings and get rid of spaces in front and after it. Yeah, I'm going to show you how to do that today. All right, so there's a lot of, did you guys notice that there's a lot of things inside of your string drawer? Have you guys looked at your string drawer before? There's not just quote quotes in there. There's a lot of stuff in there. Um, we want to search this string for look space up, get rid of look up, and get rid of the space in front of cats. And then we want to take this and put it into our um, search key. Do you guys remember yesterday? We want to set the search key equal to cats. Okay. With, and I don't want a space here. I don't care whatever you want it to be. All right. Who understands what I'm doing here? Thumbs up if you understand what I'm doing. I want to get rid of that space after lookup. Because I don't want it searching the internet with a space here in front of cats. Okay, we can clean this up. I have a tool that cleans this up. It's like, why do you go get a haircut? Well, you want to cut off hair. <laughs> okay, they have tools that cuts off your hair. Are you with me? Okay, so we have tools inside of our string box that can find lookup, get rid of it, right? Then find any spaces and get rid of them. We have tools that do that. You understand? So then I can just have cats in here. Okay, so watch. This is how we're going to do this. Everybody understand this? You understand what we're trying to accomplish here today? Here we go. Let's go do it in code. So if you understand it, then I can show you how to do it in code. All right, so you're going to set... my search key equal to whatever they say in results. Are you with me? So they're going to say look up cats. I'm going to get all that look up cats. Now I'm going to start to do some surgery on it. Get rid of the look up. Get rid of the space. Here we go. So I'm going to do an if statement. If. So let's go to text. Do you guys see how there's a lot of stuff in text here? Okay. Split at spaces. Split text. Contains text. Starts at text. You case. Trim. There's our trim. I'm getting ready to use that today. Trim. Guess what trim does? Cuts off the spaces around the string. Rachel. Yes. You guys need to start taking this care of that stuff before class. Um, here you have replace all text with text, replace text starting with, are you with me? So you can look up text, replace it, all kind. you can split it, um, there's all kinds of stuff in here. Ob, obfuscated text, I don't know what, I don't even know what that is, folks, right there. You guys see what that says? I can't even say that. Produces, let's, 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 let's put our mouse over, let's see what this is. I can't even say it. Obfuscated. Let's produces text like a text block. The difference is that the text is not easily discovered by the examining apps APK. Use this when creating apps to distribute that include 
confidential information. For example, API keys warning. This provides only very low security against expert adversaries. Okay. So, can I work on this for a second? Here we go. So, we want our our words are going to contain the word lookup, right? So we're going to say if contains if um, so we're going to go to our result if our result contains the piece and we're going to go here what piece are we looking for no look up right so if it contains look up are you with me Who's with me so far? If it contains lookup, what do we want to do? Let's go back here. We want to get rid of the words lookup, right? Because they're going to say lookup cats. I want to get rid of the words lookup, space, cats, and then only search cats, not lookup. You guys with me? Okay, let's go back. So we're going to go to lookup. Then, if it contains lookup, I'm going to go back and reset my global variable. Set my global search key to be, and I want to trim it. So here we go. We're going to get rid of that space. That gets rid of the space right there. And then I'm going to do a replace. Replace all text. So I'm going to replace all text in the result. The segment that I'm looking who knows what the segment that I'm looking for is? What segment am I looking for? What two words am I looking for? Look up. Yep, it's a segment. I'm looking for the text, the segment in the text called lookup. And what do I want to replace them with? How can I get rid of lookup? What could I replace them with to get rid of them? Quote, quote. An empty string. What's inside a quote, quote? Nothing. So you got lookup, you replaced lookup with nothing, then you're left with, okay, so let's go back here, let's go back here, right? If they type, if they say lookup cats, and I replaced lookup with nothing, right? Replace this with, quote, quote, what's in there? Nothing. <laughs> what is in here? Nothing. This is called an empty string, okay? I don't think there's air in there because this is a computer, okay? This is an empty string. You're putting nothing in there, so you're replacing it with nothing. It's kind of like Siri yesterday. If you have nothing, you have no friends, then Cookie Monster's mad because you got no cookies, and it's so sad that you have no friends. So if you replaced all your friends with nothing, you are now back to no friends. Okay, I, I don't recommend that. But in this case, when we're looking for lookup, we want to take lookup, replace it with quote, quote, nothing, and now we're left with cats. Are you with me? Okay. So now we go back here. And now we can and now if you wanted to um, we could show what you said in the search bar so let's go back here to search bar okay there's a search bar and you're going to set the search bar equal to this search key. And then we could perform our search. 
right there. Are you with me? And then I probably want to get rid of this guy here. So I'll say, okay, Google. I'll change this because we don't want to have lookup anymore. We're already taking care of lookup. All right. So who understands what I just did there? You're welcome to come take a picture of it on the board. Okay. Happy coding. We just upgraded that. Now you have a hands-free app. You can say, look up dogs, look up cats. Every time you say, look up, like Tanya asked for, you have it. Okay, happy coding. Keep calm and code on.